Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel The Art. Today I'm really excited about this technique and this mold is by Molds and Shape and I really love their mold because they are amazing and of good quality. So let's start. What I'm doing here is I have taken uh, my resin and it's already mixed. I have taken a low viscosity resin here and I'm adding alcohol inks to my color to color my resin. So actually I needed a red color and I didn't have the transparent red epoxy pigment so I went with the alcohol inks but if you have an uh, transparent dyes please use them so I really wanted to make in a red color so I know that I need to buy a transparent red pigment for my next projects and I suggest you to use epoxy pigments so now what I'm doing here is I'm just mixing my resin going with the shade I want so it's all mixed now and I'm pouring it into my mold so this is going to be the first layer Removing all the air bubbles with the help of heat gun. So now comes the technical part and I have taken a thick plastic here. This is not a cling film. It's a thick plastic and you can see what I'm doing here is I am just twisting it and folding it so, and I will be forming a round donut shape. You can see what I'm doing here. So I'm folding it little by little. So the idea here is that I am doing this to give it a rose effect. So it's really important that your plastic should be thick. So this size will fit my mold. So you can make according to the size you want. So what I did here, I just used a clear tape on the top of this plastic just to uh, overall hold the position. And again using my heat gun to remove the bubbles that came up. So finally added the piece into the resin. So I'm gently applying the pressure because I don't want any air bubbles in there just you can put any heavy object on the top of the sheet so that it don't move a lot but this will not move so it's okay and i will let it cure so this is the second day and let's see how it turned out i'm really excited so you can see me here uh, i am a bit struggling with the plastic sheet but it's okay it will come out and i'm using a little bit of heat gun And I'm removing the plastic. So
so i have previously tried this technique on my channel you can i will link the videos here and in that video what i did different was that i i just checked on my resin and when it was about cured not hardened but cured i removed the plastic for this one i was not sure so i gave it one day but i think for next time when i will be making this again i will do i will be doing the same when it uh, reaches a position where the resin is a bit cured i will remove the plastic because if i have uh, now here i have given one day so it's getting a bit difficult to remove the plastic so i'm showing you here the difficulty i went through but i will be again making this technique because it's it's really beautiful but next time i would remove the plastic early because while i was making this rose flower i got so many ideas with uh, making flowers we all have been making flowers with uh, the alcohol ink and the uh, white pigment paste, uh, paste and trust me it's my favorite thing to do but i thought why not try something else and make flowers So finally, I was able to pull out the plastic, but uh, a disclaimer, there are a little bits of plastic that are sticked inside because I want to make it clear. So next time, I will be very careful of that with the timing. And this is the fun part. And what I'm doing here is I have taken a just raised white pigment paste. And instead of using just the white pigment paste, because I have used only white resin in the previous videos, this time I'm adding this interference color by Pearl X. And in my resin, I will be adding the white pigment paste and the mica powder. So here I added a bit more of the mica powder. I think I accidentally spilled a lot, but it's fine. So I am covering the back with the white resin. So make sure it's all covered in, in this case uh, i got some of the raised edges but don't worry we will sand it off later on and we let it cure 
next day is the day of the mold and I'm really excited to see how it turned out. So this is it turned out and when I flipped it my daughter was close to me and she just said wow it looks like a rose and deep inside I was so happy because that's the thing I was going to for uh, going for and when she said that it was confirmed that I did it right. So for the back I'm sanding it with this sander. And after sanding it I will be doing a top coat. So my favorite part of making a resin project is using the gilding glue and I did use the gilding glue on the corners of this coaster and it's all dried and sticky now. You can see it and I will be using a gold foil, the mirror gold on the top of this. And gently just rubbing in uh, it onto the coaster. It really did bring out the beauty of the uh, rose and now it's time for the final top coat. That's it. We let it cure and let's see how it turned out. So these, this is the final result. I really actually love it as I do always say for all of my project but I do love it. And I think there are many ways to make the flower for this technique. So please do let me know in comments what do you think about this flower and this technique and like subscribe and share thumbs up if you like the video and if you have any suggestions and comments they are always welcomed and thank you so much for watching your amazing and lovely comments are always a great motivation for me and i love reading them and i try to get back to them as soon as Take possible care. Bye-bye.